Ah, oh, hell. I'm in the wrong game again. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Game, and it's something now Twitter the Gaming Drag today. I'm coming back at you with the Let's Play episode of Tennis A's Case Case Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome awards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. Damn. Harsh. I value my physical and mental well-being, both of which would be at risk in such a situation. Sai-chan is not that bad. She's just a little bossy, and maybe a tad demanding? Uh, some guys find girls who like that cute, though... Marzaki-senpai did. Yeah, no. If not my physical health, then at least my dignity would be in danger. You're so dramatic. Blech. Eloquent. I could tease him a little more, but I decided to ease up on the poor guy. If I keep pushing, I could very well fry Keisuke's brain, and while the idea sounds funny, today really isn't the day for it. I wouldn't want to get him into... I wouldn't want to get him so in his head that he locks up and can't perform later today. Instead, I place a hand on his shoulder, giving him a gentle squeeze before moving my hand down to his lower back, trying to give him a few encouraging rubs. You're having way too much fun messing with me. Hmm, tit for tat. I should, have I should have known to stay away from that topic. It wasn't that bad. Now we know more about each other. How can that be a bad thing? You have a lot more ammunition to use against me. That's how, that's how it's a bad thing. I hereby swear to use my ammunition responsibly. That's not exactly encouraging, you know. Hmm, I disagree. I feel very encouraged. You ass. You do seem to really like mine. What? Remember, you said that you really like guys' asses. Something about it being the place your eyes get drawn to the most. That doesn't mean I was talking about yours. Oh, so my ass isn't nice? You don't like it as much? No, that's not what I meant. Your ass is, um, it's, it's fine. Just fine? Damn. Cold. It's a good ass. It's a great ass. Now leave me alone. Alright, alright. Settle down. Jeez, no need to get so worked up. God, I can feel my blood pressure rising. I'm pretty sure that's just the blood rushing to your face. You're blushing so hard you look like a neon sign. Shut. Aye, aye. I walk to a nearby trash can, tossing my empty coffee inside while taking advantage of that moment to keep my back turned to Case Case so I can recompose myself for a bit before I turn around again. I'm well aware that the look on my face would just piss him off. I'm barely managing to keep myself from laughing, so I'm sure I must have the stupidest grin right about now. It seems you're done, at least. Hmm? Oh, you, you mean with my coffee? Yeah, I'm done. And then we should get going. We wouldn't want to dawdle outside for too long. We'll miss breakfast. You mean we're already heading back? While I certainly would have liked to exercise a little bit more, we've wasted enough time as it is. We can't afford to mess with our schedule just because I'm feeling a tad anxious. That's a good point. We wouldn't want to be late since that would mess up with the schedule for everyone, not just the two of us. At the very least, it should be a bit easier for him to control his emotions now. And being able to remain calm and collected is one of the most important parts of competitions, especially when traveling. Well, it may seem un uh, it may seem understated, the amount of stress endured when playing away from a familiar area cannot be ignored. The stress can build up little by little, so s so slow that you don't notice it at first, until it eventually becomes overwhelming. If a player can't do a good job of recognizing their stress levels and managing it in a healthy way, they'll probably self-destruct. Sadly, it's not that uncommon to see professional players have incredibly public meltdowns. It tends to be more common among younger players, and even more so than those who were raised by tennis, by tennis parents. But the effects can usually be catastrophic for one's career. The fact that Keisuke is taking the initiative and recognizing and dealing with his stress is already a good sign. Of course, there is no point to me saying it outright. That sort of thing is a skill that everyone needs to develop on their own. A player really wouldn't have much of a future if they couldn't even tell when they're stressed or when they're playing suboptimally. Support staff exists to help with it, but you have to be able to do at least the bare minimum yourself. Self-awareness is absolutely a requirement to become a professional in any sport. But the main concern for me right now is... Are you still feeling anxious? You seem to be doing much better now. Hmm, maybe I am. Your company tends to make me feel better most of the time. Heh, <laughs> don't say something so embarrassing out of nowhere. What? You don't seem to mind, what with that huge dopey smile on your face and everything. You can't expect me not to smile when you say something like that. Then get used to it. I'm not going anywhere. Heh, <laughs> is that a promise? Hmm, as close as one can be. Why? You think I'm gonna leave you? I don't know. This is my first real relationship, and we've only been dating for a little while. I don't know how much about this. I don't know much about this kind of thing. It can't be this easy, right? Probably not. That's not something I'd expect you to smile while saying. 
Iwiji, relationships are hard, regardless of which kind of relationship. Be it family, friends, none of it is easy. No one knows that as well as I do. Okay. If you entered into a relationship with me expecting everything to be easy, then you are a fool. I'm here for the difficult, annoying times, not just the good ones. Isn't that to be expected? Man, you're a serious smooth talker, aren't you? If you talk more openly like this to other people, I'm 100% sure you'd have a row of admirers of your own, you know? I guess that makes sense. Sorry. And there goes the dopey smile again. Don't mock me. I'll pull on your ears. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll behave. Please stay away from the ears. Hmm, they're kind of cute, though. So, I, th I make no promises. That's a little terrifying, don't you think? It's awfully tempting. Yuichi, that look on your face is scaring me a little bit. Good. Balance has been restored. I'm not letting you keep getting one over on me all the time. You're my junior, so I have to put you in your place whenever I can. We should get going, though. If we keep goofing off like this, we'll never get back to the hotel. Hmm. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Keisuke looks back for me, looks back at me for a second, flashing me a grin before taking me, taking off ahead of me with no warning. What? What are you doing? I might as well make it interesting, right? After a moment's hesitation, I take off after the hare that is now running ahead of me while laughing. That's so dirty! You're playing dirty! We never settled on rules, so how could I be breaking them? Keisuke laughs in a way that I don't, re don't remember ever seeing before the two of us began dating. When I think about it, I've seen so many new sides of his after we got together. I never knew Keisuke could be this sweet and thoughtful before we started dating. Truth be told, I saw him as my uptight, overly formal junior for most of the time we've known each other. To think that he can now make me feel all those unfamiliar things, that thought alone makes my chest feel tight. Be it good or bad, I've learned so many new things about Keisuke as of late, and yet the number one ang number one anxiety plaguing my mind recently has been about Keisuke's family situation, as well as my one outburst incident. Seeing Keisuke's situation was like a wake-up call. It forced me to reevaluate my naive perspective on family and my tendency to always expect good from other people. <coughs> oh, goodness. Bless me. At the same time, the way I reacted to his attempt to spare me from dealing with it made me feel scared of myself. I'm afraid that Keisuke would eventually realize he could do better than me. And yet, at every step, he always makes sure to comfort me and make me feel secure in the subtlest ways. Is this what it feels like to be cherished? Ugh, I feel so sappy and ridiculous thinking about all these things. We've only been dating for a short time, too. I'm sure if anyone else knew the kinds of things I'm thinking of, they'd make fun of me for my puppy love. Is that... Unfortunately, due to my complete distraction, I don't notice Kaken coming to a stop right in front of me, ending up colliding against his back. Ow! What's the big idea? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. No kidding. But as I was saying, isn't that... Yuichi-san? As Keisuke jutted his chin towards something to try and get my attention, the sound of a familiar voice coming from the same direction immediately made me stand up straight as if I'd just been doused with a bucket of ice-cold water. It was only then that I realized we'd stopped right in front of a convenience store, and who had been coming out of it at that very moment other than Tanabi? Gah! Gah! The red panda spotted us, flashing an amiable smile and walking toward us with a plastic bag in his left hand. Good morning. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, good morning. Talk about a coincidence. And good morning to you too, Arushi Harakun. I believe this is the first time we've met we've properly met. Oh, good morning. You know my name. Mm-hmm. I make it a habit to learn about those that interest me. I interest you? Tanabi can be a, quit, can be a bit uh, meticulous when it comes to learning about uh, potential rivals. You are correct, even if that is a mildly unflattering way of putting it. Whoa. Still, it's been a while. Are you doing well? Yeah, I'm okay. Last year of school is a bit more annoying than usual, but other than that, it's the same as always. Hmm. Are you sure about that? You seem a little different. Second, y'all. Water time. Alrighty, y'all, and we are back. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm not just talking about your face being uncharacteristically stiff right now. My face? Now that he mentioned it, your face is a bit stiff. Is everything okay? Of course. Oh, why wouldn't I be okay? Yuichi? Crap, I wasn't expecting to find Tanabi-kun here. I can usually steal myself a little bit during competition since I expect to see him there, but this is something else entirely. Talking to him like this feels so awkward. Oh, by the way, I watched a recording of your match against Kokonose-kun back in April. I was quite impressed. You were? Of course. Kokonose-kun had been on my radar since last year as a potential rival that I looked forward to facing. What I didn't expect, however, was your performance in that match. 
Suffice to say that I was quite happy to see a bit of the old yuichi san once again. For the first time in years, I felt excited again. I'm... flattered? Are you sure? Your face doesn't quite look it. I'm happy to hear you say that. You have no idea how happy I am, but... But also, how the hell am I supposed to react? I just don't know what to say. Fair enough, now that I think of it. You've never been great at handling praise and the likes. My apologies, I shouldn't have put you on the spot like that. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. He really doesn't handle praise all that well. It's not something too many people know without him get without getting close to him, though. I have to say, however, that I'm surprised to see you out here at all. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right about that. <laughs> surprised? Why would you be surprised? Because unless he's changed a great deal in the last few years, he used to be the complete opposite of a morning person. Why, I remember I had to basically drag him for morning jogs with me when we were in middle school, and he would be barely awake and grumpy the whole time. You went on morning jogs? Yeah, a few times, I guess. Did I think about it? I don't think I've ever went in depth about what my relationship with Tanabikun was like in front of Keisuke. God, I can't handle the way he's staring at me right now. It feels like he's going to bore a hole into the back of my head with his eyes. At one point, I had to make a deal with him just to make him come with me. A deal? Oh, wow, I don't even remember that at all. Did we really do that? Hmm? Of course we did. You made me agree to go to the arcades with you in exchange for waking up early to jog. Oh, is that so? Oh boy, all hints of amusement have completely disappeared from Kaysken's face entirely. Uh, why do I feel like I can suddenly hear boss music? Is something wrong, ibrishiharu kun You've had this look on your face for a little while now. Is all the reminiscing boring you? Not at all. I just didn't like where there was... I just didn't like there was so much reminiscing to be done. You seem to know Yuichi-san quite well. Huh? Well, of course I do. We've been friends for... As soon as the words leave his lips, Tanabe blinks a few times as if realizing something. His face contorts into a heavy frown with his eyebrows knitted tightly together and twitching noticeably. Oh. Right. I got so caught up reminiscing that I forgot that... I mean, I suppose it's only natural for you to not be aware since you weren't a friend of his at the time, as far as I'm aware. Oh? Oh boy, are we really getting into that? It's not really a big deal. We don't need to talk about it. You say it... You saying it like that just makes it sound like there is something to talk about. Tanabe's eyes dart between Keisuke and I, and from the hair's confusion to my obvious discomfort, and he sighs, his face contorting into a regretful smile, the kinds of which I hadn't seen on him in a long time. Sorry, yuichi Sam. I spoke out of turn. Well, you're fine, don't worry about it. Yuichi, what's going on? That's, that's not... We don't need to get into this right now. Get into what? God, please, not this. Not right now. I'm not prepared to have this conversation, especially not with Nabikun standing right there. I've made things awkward, haven't I? That's not... Yes. Case gay? I thought so. I'm really sorry. I really shouldn't speak so casually about it, considering the current situation is my fault in the first place. Wait, what? Your fault in the first place? What's that supposed to... I'll leave you two alone. I'm sorry for calling out and interrupting your morning. Wait, to not... Later. To not be awkwardly... Bids us goodbye with a quick bow, with a quick nod and a bow, walking away in the opposite direction without looking back even once. I'm left standing in shock, not knowing what to think or how to react to what just happened. An entire conversation had my brain short circuiting. So many things that I didn't expect or understand happened in quick succession, and I. Why did you do that? As soon as the words leave my lips, I can tell that I messed up. I don't even have to see the look on Keisuke's face shift for me to realize it. I just do. And I am going. Pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely Bronze Tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our Silver Tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to Not Safe for Work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye